Today I'm going to walk you through the dual PTT and the MPU-5 and show you how all the capabilities work. We're going to review the physical setup as well as the web management interface and the configuration. We are going to talk about all the buttons and the knobs and the functionality that they provide. We are also going to talk about connecting an Android phone to the dual PTT and show you how it streamlines ergonomics and the cabling on your kit. And as always, if you are able to listen to this video with stereo headphones, you'll be able to hear the left and right ear audio, just like if you were wearing an MPU-5 with a dual PTT. So, if you have headphones, you can put them on now. We'll start off by plugging the MPU-5 into the dual PTT by using the 22-pin MPU-5 cable and plugging it directly into the dual PTT. The dual PTT cable is keyed so that it only connects to the PTT EUD port on the MPU-5. You will see in the web management interface that the dual PTT cable is connected as well as the dual PTT itself. This gives you the confidence that everything is connected and that the configuration is correct. The MPU-5 also checks the firmware on the dual PTT and if it needs to be upgraded, it automatically uploads the firmware to the dual PTT device. The MPU-5 lets you define up to 16 different talk groups. These groups are simply multicast addresses and a port. When you define your talk groups in the web management interface, you can even give them custom names like Assault Net, Command Net, Fires Net, or even Tactical Satellite. Using the dual PTT, you can tune to any one of those talk groups and even talk on them at the same time while hearing one in each ear. Historically, when users were wearing a dual PTT device, it was actually a dual drop device, which meant that they had to have two cables going down to two separate tactical radios. In the case of the dual PTT, you're accessing multiple talk groups with one single device. The MPU-5's dual PTT streamlines the ability for a user to talk on multiple talk groups with one audio device. The talk groups are logical, they're not physical. It also provides easy and direct access to these different talk groups, easily on your kit, on your dual PTT. A lot of people ask us, can you connect a generic PTT device to the MPU-5? And the short answer is yes, but there are limitations. In this case, you can see that I have a 22-pin to NATO 6-pin cable. This is a connector that's used with PTT devices all around the world, and we can connect to it. One of the issues, though, is that you're not going to be able to access the functionality of the dual PTT. Things like changing talk groups and listening in stereo in both ears. However, we are able to connect to these generic and traditional PTT devices. In this case, I have a Peltor as well as the NATO 6-pin cable. But just remember, a lot of your tactical users won't be able to change the talk groups, which is what I'm showing you in this video. The talk group selection knobs on top of the dual PTT are labeled A and B. The MPU-5 utilizes the Android text-to-speech engine to convert the text that you wrote in the web management interface associated with those talk groups into audible announcements that you can hear in your left and right ear. If you set knob A to talk group 1, you will hear assault net audibly announced in your right ear. One assault net. When I press button A, I'm talking on assault net. If you turn knob B to talk group 3, now you will hear fires net audibly announced in your left ear. Three fires net. When I press the PTT B button, now you are talking on talk group three, fires net. Every time you change one of the knobs on the dual PTT, you'll hear an audible announcement that indicates the channel and the talk group that you're on. You will hear that announcement in either your left or right ear based on which knob you turn. So these audible notifications on the dual PTT allow it so that you don't have to memorize a channel will on a radio. Traditionally, a lot of radio operators and end users have had to memorize the different nets and the channels that are on their tactical radio. But for us here at Persistent Systems, we've listened to user feedback, we've worked with end users and operators downrange, and even many of us in the company have experienced what it's like to have to memorize what talk groups you're on and even have multiple radios that you're wearing. In this case, the dual PTT seamlessly allows you not only to talk on different talk groups, but in some cases, 
access different radio systems, which we'll talk about more in other videos. One of the features of the dual PTT is the ability to change the volume level. If you look at the top of the dual PTT, you'll see a little red dial. And you'll see that on each of the A and B knobs. What I'm gonna show you now is the ability to receive different levels of volume, and we're gonna record that using the Zoom recorder. Now's a good time to put those headphones on as we do some radio checks. So if I go to knob A and I go to low volume, I'm gonna pick up another MPU-5 over here and do a radio check on talk group A. This is talk group A on low volume. Let's change the volume on my knob A to medium volume. This is a radio check on medium volume. Now let's go ahead and go all the way to high volume on the dual PTT. This is a radio check on talk group A high volume. You should have heard all of those radio checks in your right ear. But if you're wearing stereo headphones, we can also showcase the ability to hear talk group B in your left ear. So let's do a radio check right now. This is a radio check on talk group B. You should have heard that in your left ear. And finally, if I push both of the buttons on my dual PTT, I'll be able to talk out both talk groups at the same time. This is BR conducting a radio check on talk group A and B. You should have heard that in both of your ears. If you're wearing a stereo headset, you're hearing exactly what we're doing here at Persistent Systems with this demo. Now I'm gonna to move to show you a tactical kit and connect an Android phone to show you the cabling and efficiencies that we can create. The Dual PTT was specifically designed to work with the MPU-5. It is both a USB hub and a USB device. This allows us to connect USB accessories directly to the Dual PTT. Using the Dual PTT as a hub minimizes the cabling that is required on a soldier. It also maximizes the human factors and the ergonomics of the soldier. This setup brings a USB port all the way from the MPU-5 to the front of the kit that allows for a very short cable to connect an Android phone or some other USB device. It's become more common for soldiers to wear Android devices on the battlefield. And because of that, cables from the phone and from the radio became a problem for soldiers when it was wrapped around their kit. We received feedback directly from soldiers on the battlefield, which is why we designed the dual PTT in this way to address these concerns directly. A single cable from the MPU-5 enables the dual PTT, which allows you to control and power the Android phone that's on this kit. I have a kit here configured so that this Android phone is connected directly to the MPU-5 through the dual PTT. The MPU-5 on this kit is enabling the dual PTT as well as continually charging the Android phone through the dual PTT. A single battery on the MPU-5 can power the radio as well as any of the accessories, including the Android phone. Next, I wanna talk about audio quality and specifically preserving that quality from when the user speaks all the way to another user who is hearing that audio. The dual PTT performs all of the analog to digital conversion right in the dual PTT device itself. With as little as five inches of cable between the headset and the dual PTT, the audio that comes out of your mic is quickly turned into a digital signal. We believe this is one of the reasons that MPU-5 users are telling us that the audio coming out of the MPU-5 is crystal clear. We designed the dual PTT to be purpose-built for the MPU-5. We wanted to optimize the ergonomics and cabling on the soldier. We wanted to give the user the control of their talk groups as well as being able to change the volume. We also wanted to provide the highest fidelity audio. And we wanted a solution that was extremely compact and rugged. Other tactical radio providers may provide a remote channel selection or a remote faceplate that allows you to change certain configurations within the radio. But all this does is add items and accessories to your kit. We at Persistent Systems are trying to reduce the load on the soldier and create efficiencies for battlefield situational awareness. In the dual PTT, we've created a lightweight solution that addresses the needs of the soldier. If you have any questions about the MPU-5 and specifically the audio capabilities and features of the dual PTT, 
make sure to leave a comment below.